How's it going guys? We are back with another video. It's been an entire month since I've been able to go to this vending location. So we're going to be going to this vending location, restocking, and collecting. It's going to be the largest collection I've got from this location. Things are finally starting to pick up. Maybe because of the coronavirus, everybody doesn't want to go out and buy food. So they're getting food from the vending machine. I'm not sure. But this is going to be the most I've ever collected and had to restock at this location. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and drop a comment. All right, thank you guys. Here we are at one of my vending locations. It has been an entire month since we have collected or stocked this. We're going to need to restock the Dr. Pepper, the Mountain Dew, the Pepsi, the Root Beer, the Sunkiss, and the Coca-Cola. The Mountain Dew diet didn't really sell, but everything else sold well. Here you can see me stocking the Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew are two of the best sellers at this location. Um, two of the guys, long-time employees of this location, like Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. They've actually been pretty hard to find at my local Sam's Club. I have went there four times this past month, and they have been sold out of Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. Three out of the four times that I've went, and it has been a pain trying to go back and find them at other locations. This time I did not have to change the Diet Mountain Dew, which is a really big surprise. Usually Diet Mountain Dew is a pretty good seller as well, but for some reason this time I did not have to restock it. It was still plenty full. I actually think last time I put in two 35 packs and a partial 24 packs, so that might be why I don't need to restock it. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I want you to comment down below, made it this far. If you have made it this far in the video, please drop a comment down below and say made it this far. Here we are taking the money out of the soda machine. It is a very, very nice stack of cash after a month's long collection. Look at that right there. And here's all the coins. It was a bunch of coins. This is a beautiful sight. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my lord. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine empty slots. This one's almost empty. There's a couple others that are almost empty. Wow. Clean the money out of the snack machine. Here we go yeah, buddy. again. I was highly impressed about how much sold and how much money Man. was in these machines this month. Here I am adding in Takis to this machine. I have never added Takis to any of my machines before until recently. And they sold well at the other location. Here I am adding them to this location. Hopefully they'll sell well to this location. I also added some grandma's cookies. Uh, I added those in last time and those sold pretty well. So I'm going to add them in again this time. We're adding the gummy bears back in. That's a really big bag of gummy bears. I sell it for $1.25 because it's so big and those sold pretty good. The kind bars to the right of them, those didn't sell good at either location, so I took them out of both locations uh, because they weren't selling well, so I took them out. I gave them my chance. I thought I would at least try them, but hey, they didn't sell well, so you can't keep a product in there that's not going to sell. You have to take it out. Now that it has gotten warmer out, I am going to have to figure out a way to transport this chocolate so it doesn't melt. I've been thinking about getting a cooler and putting the cooler, uh, the chocolate in the cooler with ice. 
I'm not sure how that would work. If anybody has any ideas or tips or tricks or can tell me what they do to transport the chocolate so it doesn't melt, when, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know. That would help me out greatly. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm guessing I'm probably going to go with a cooler idea. Here you're going to see me stock every other one a Snickers almond and then an M&M and then a Snickers almond and then an M&M. And then I'm going to go Milky Way, Three Musketeers, Milky Way, Three Musketeers. I have found that going every other one on certain items helps me sell more. So like chips, I would do the salt and vinegar and then Cool Ranch. That's just for an example. Or chili cheese, uh, Fritos, and then barbecue. I would do that that way. A way the product would sell more because if someone would want one thing and then another person would want another thing, uh, they could all be in the same row and one person could get one chip and then the next person could go along and get the next chip. And then if the person, like, you know what I mean? I think it helps to sell the product more. More product because not everything in the row is the same. Uh, you get more variety. Every other one is different in multiple rows. Here's what it looks like now. Look at all them new products I, I put in there. Here is a preview of a video I'm going to have coming real soon. It's me setting up a Vendo Live Display 10 selection, getting it ready for a vending location, and I'm also problem solving and troubleshooting on it. Coming soon. Yo, yo, yo! So the other day we went and changed out this bill validator because this bill validator was messing up. And, which, I don't know why I was messing up, because it just got refurbished in 2017. And the machine barely was used in 2018, barely used in 2019, and I used it in 2020, and it went out within two months of me buying it. But anyways, I replaced it, and what I forgot to do, your boy forgot to take out the money that was already in it. You see that? That's nice and decent right there. Still one left in there. I think that's it. You know, that's a nice, decent little amount. I forgot. Thank in there. you guys for watching. Don't forget to so. hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys, and have a good day, and stay safe, guys.